Welcome back, everyone. So, been to the gym lately to exercise your body? On a weight loss program to exercise your weight? Well, how about exercising your mind? So joining me today is Kathy Johnson, who's the president of a really interesting company called the Pyramid of Potential. So first, welcome, Kath. Thank you. Very nice to have you well, here. Well, I'm glad to be here. And you do something that is so out of the ordinary, yet it's so <laughs> important that uh, we just really wanted you to come in. All right. Pyramid of Potential, brain training. Yes. Wow. That's a big one. <laughs> well, it is. Okay. Our brains are so important. So look, Kathy, uh, for our viewers, tell us a bit about what a brain trainer does and why you got involved in doing this. Well, um, I'll start with why I got involved. Mm -hmm. About the year 2000, I graduated with my master's in education, and uh, I had family and friends who needed some help mm -hmm. in, with their brains, and so I got started there with people with learning struggles mm -hmm. and have just been figuring it out and going gangbusters ever since. My God, uh, to just say that, uh, and this, well, Kathy and I were talking before we went on, I was making notes fast and furious to try to keep up with her. Uh, what an amazing experience to get involved with helping someone train their brain, right? It, it's life-changing. Yes, it is. I bet it is. I worked with children who got out of special ed and onto the honor roll without accommodations or tutors. Right you know, helped people of all ages improve right. their brains. You know, uh, Kathy told me before we went on air, there was a woman who was 70 years old who was just starting to move into that phase. And I'm sure many of us have experienced this where I just walked into this room. Why did I walk into this room? Mm -hmm. You know, you just do you, whatever reason you're not focused enough and you were able to turn her around a bit that she became much more uh, her cognitive abilities got a lot stronger, right? Was that what you're saying? Absolutely. Yeah. We can change our brains at any time in our lives because mm -hmm. of neuroplasticity. Mm -hmm. We can actually improve our IQ. Now, Kathy, you developed a really interesting proprietary process here. This pyramid of potential actually has to do with five stages of learning, correct? Uh, I want to go from the bottom because okay. some of them are a, were a surprise to me and I know they'd be for our viewers. That bottom level, what is that? The foundation of brain training is yes. body and mind health. Mm -hmm. And the health of our body through nutrition and exercise and mm -hmm. sleep, mm -hmm. uh, but also our mind health, like uh, through relief of stress, anxiety, and depression. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, at, that, at that stage, it isn't really knowing the solutions. It's really recognizing that you have these issues so that you can set the stage for phases four, three, two, and one, Absolutely. Correct? Good, okay, so assuming that we're eating properly and that we're aware of some of the situations we would like to address, and we'd like to train our brain, exercise our mind, uh, you move into that fourth level. Tell us a bit about that. Okay, so that's neurodevelopment, the mm -hmm. development of the brain. And this is replicating the development of the brain that happens in infancy. Okay. And actually going back to uh, the things that we did at, from zero to one. Wow. Well, you know, they always say that the, what you learn during that time period are things that remain with you for the rest of your life. And consequently, what you didn't pick up. Right. That's Great why point. we replicate it to fill in the holes that yes. were never filled in. I got you. Okay. Uh, phase three, sensory. Yes, uh, the sensory development is so important. The two senses that we use most for learning mm -hmm. are vision and hearing. Mm. And, um, but it's not just the ability to see and the ability to hear, but it's how we process those in the brain. And right. so we actually are working on um, you know, that part, the development right. of the processing. Well, that would lead us to the one that I always find, and I'm sure our viewers would too, the cognitive area. Absolutely. You know, wow. Okay, yeah. so assuming that, you know, again, let's just backtrack a bit. You've got, you know, you're eating healthy and whatever, you know, you're kind of aware of the issues that you'd like, like to deal with. You know, you're acutely becoming more acutely aware that vision and hearing are playing a role in this. Mm -hmm. um, you move into the cognitive arena. Right. Memory. Right. Attention. Mm -hmm. Processing speed. Mm -hmm. And uh, two different types of memory and two different types of attention are visual and auditory. Right. So you can see how you've got to set that up first. Well, you know what? A lot of us are familiar with lumosity. 
Yes, dot com, absolutely. Right? We see these ads on uh, in video media all the time. Um, that's something, but that's, a, you know, sort of, I'm not going to explain this properly, but that's kind of playing with games, right? But f with a purpose. Yes. And, and that purpose would be to increase some cognitive skills, right? Absolutely. Yes. And that's what I do in person with someone is play mm -hmm. games, not unlike Lumosity. Mm -hmm. um, however, with an actual person, mm -hmm. it's um, easier to get more motivated to stick with it and mm -hmm. to follow through, which mm -hmm. is necessary for long-term changes in the brain. Well, you know, I know it's not the best uh, example in the world, but think about it at a gym. You get a personal trainer, right? That's right. <laughs> you That's know, right. Don't do 10 push-ups, do 15 push-ups. Yes. So you in essence, it. you're doing, and I don't mean to make it sound trivial, but no, in essence, no, that's true. what you're doing is having that one-on-one -on -one yes. with someone to actually walk them through this process. Um, what have you spotted over the years um, in people? Is there a common thread? The common thread is that no one's the same. Our brains are completely different. Right. So it's as common as that is, it means that we are all uncommon. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen that there's no silver bullet and yes, that, right. n that even this doesn't work with 100%, but because we are dealing with so many different areas, it works with most people. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and the last thing is that perfection is not the goal because we'll never get there. Right. And for most of the people that we've worked with, uh, we try to contain it in a matter of months mm -hmm. uh, so that they can overcome the difficulties that they're having mm -hmm. and go on to having a productive life. Hey, you know, in talking to Kathy before we went on, on air, she has such a positive outlook about this. You know, this isn't concentrating on what you've done wrong or what you don't know or a handicap that you might have. This is a way to just take that and, as the name suggests, find the potential in it, yeah. which I think, is, uh, I think is remarkable. So, Kath, uh, we're going to have you back from time to time. Okay. If you can teach me to remember where I put my keys <laughs> this morning, you're in. I'm telling you right now, you come on, you come on every day. Yeah. Okay, you've got a deal. <laughs> Good. Kathy, thank you for coming in. Thank you, um, To see this interview again, please head to our website, looktvonline.com.